All right. Let's talk about this. So I've, I've mentioned earlier on Hor or Hora, Hora, the radio platform, the live streaming platform in Berlin went through a bit of an issue where in the past they were accused of rightfully so of basically deplatforming people and essentially co-signing the genocide that's occurring over there in Gaza by um, t- telling DJs that were playing and showing support for the for Palestinians to remove their scarves, remove their t-shirts and support, you know, whatever it may be. It was pretty crazy and a really dumb misstep because even though the founders of Hor are Israeli and I think one of them or both of them served in the IDF, I understand the conflict of interest that they have but considering how fraught the you know the situation is over there considering the videos that we keep on seeing just considering the brutality the violence the amount of people dead i think at last count i saw like thirty thousand palestinians have, have died during the war you know large scores of palestine are completely been reduced to rubble there's this video that i've just recently seen actually that features palestinians you know swimming out into the fucking raging ocean to go pick up you know the aid that's been dropped from fucking planes right and to carry it safely back so their families and so they can eat you see visions and videos like this and you think to yourself fucking hell bro the situation over there in palestine is really fucking crazy and really sad really fucking tragic this is and the people of gaza you can see how much dangerous the situation here they are just literally dying and the thing about this as well is that this is actually the safest way to get aid to them because if you try and drop this aid inland there's a danger it might land on somebody and kill them which has happened a few times especially during the stampedes and if you then decide to drop it you know too far out into the ocean people might die swimming trying to get it and of course there's the other option there's the other danger of israel kind of firing missiles and kind of shooting down the aid in the first place and that also is kind of wasting you know the food and whatever that's being sent there so the situation is incredibly fraught, is incredibly sad, and just really tragic to kind of see. It's really, 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 really bonkers. So if you're Hua, I just can't understand why you would go as far as trying to remove people's t-shirts and stuff when they're trying to show solidarity and support for people who are going through what they're going through, right? It's really, really crazy. So with that being said, with that being said, they decided now to kind of change the narrative and basically pretend to be like supporting Palestinians and have this compilation CD that they're putting out, which is basically titled Whore for Palestine Volume 1, or I guess, no, uh, featuring various artists. And the idea behind it is to have all these different artists in, you know, in electronic music, one of them who I'm a big fan of being Matrix Man and a few others on there, you know, putting um, specific songs on there and obviously selling the compilation and whatever money's raised could get sent to a charity, you know, and whatever it may be. The issue now has come, obviously, this is very, you know, tasteless, very heavy handed, um, also doesn't address all the missteps they did in the past. um, And it just feels a little bit fake and a little bit fucking disingenuous in the first place. To make matters worse now, the update is even more, more infuriating, right? Is that the charity that they alleged to kind of linked up with to kind of support in, you know, in support of their compilation called Heal Palestine made it abundantly clear on social media that they have nothing to do with this they put out a statement on their instagram and i think Hor now have kind of abided by it that they have absolutely nothing to do with this and they want nothing to do with it so who are trying to do the right thing but they don't even do the right thing of contacting the charity that they want to get in touch with they just decide to do it anyway themselves and then just hope for the best going forward like can you imagine how fucking weirdly misplaced this whole gesture is it just goes to speak to the lack of care that they have anyway. They don't really give a fuck. They're just trying to appear like they give a fuck because the boycott is clearly hurting them. Because I hadn't really paid attention to what was going on post the first time they were deplatforming with people. Obviously, I saw it. It's like, oh, that's fucking horrible. But I hadn't really been checking whore that much. But I guess the reason why I've been checking them is because they haven't been making anything worthwhile because all the big DJs or the ones that we all know and love and respect have all decided to boycott and aren't on there anymore so they probably still have people on there still playing obviously they have a full lineup there's no djs you know there's there's too many djs out there who don't get a chance to play who be willing to play for hod regardless of what they do but the ones that matter the ones that move the needle the ones that actually get them the views and whatever they're the ones that are kind of staying away and i guess they're feeling that and maybe even locally maybe it's affecting them ability to put on events whatever they're definitely feeling something which is why they did this it's just a reaction to try to get back on people's good books but obviously it did 
terribly. And now they didn't even fucking partner up with the charity. Actually, like they said they did. And the charity said we had nothing to do with them. So now Ho had to put out a statement underneath the, you know, the, as a caption to kind of clarify what's happening because they made it seem like they were working in cahoots with the charity. But now it's not really that case. So Ho's update. The team at Hill Palestine reached out to us and declined the donation, but they did not specify why. <laughs> it doesn't matter why like like you made it seem like you were in cahoots with these people because they said oh we're going to give all the proceeds raised for the you know again it's a dumb gesture because who the fuck's buying a fucking whore compilation anyway i love the artists featured on there especially matrix man but no one's buying you know a compilation with like tv like tv out like really in 2024 we're like we don't give a fuck but anyway regardless and how many tracks is there anyway like comp come on 11 track compilation with those names you need some more you need probably a couple of hectare oaks and stuff this is not enough so the team at hill palestine reached out to us and declined the donation but did not specify why according to their website there are two ways to donate to hill palestine starting your own unauthorized fundraiser on their page or donating funds directly to them so i guess they're trying to argue we don't need your permission to give you money right we're going to use because i guess that's what they're doing they're using they're, they're using hill palestine for clout and to give them to give them validation <clears throat> but they're also saying hey do you want to really turn away money like you, you purport to be for palestinians you purport to be for the people of gaza do you really want to turn away free money or quote unquote money to give to people that they could use it in need oh it's going to be a bit of a tetchy in it but <laughs> i just love the i just love the line but they did not specify why they sound so upset starting your own on, uh, authorized fundraiser on the sorry according to their website there are two ways to donate to heal palestine starting your own authorized fundraiser on their page or donating fund directly to them we intended to choose a second option for many of our past fundraisers we haven't contacted the organization beforehand to ask for approval or permission to send these funds as many of them have the option to receive funds directly online well they say they don't want your money bro so what are you going to do are you going to send it to them by force and then try and put them in a corner back them in a corner because if they give the money back some people are going to say no just send the money to the palestinians because they need it if they say that if, if you publicly state that you're going to give them money and they publicly say we don't want it you just have to take the l Honestly, who's in charge of Paul's PR? Do they have a PR person? Do they have a, somebody doing that? Because this is shocking. The amount of own goals. Like, part of me, right, can sit here and say, even though it sounds insane, I can understand how conflicted they kind of were in the beginning. If they actually are Israeli. Again, I would love somebody to fucking let me know why there are so many Israeli people in dance music anyway. It seems wild how there's just like so many people from that one part of the world that are really not even a part of dance music, the scene. They're actually in the industry. They own the clubs, the labels. Like it's interesting, like how that is. I don't, it's not, I don't think that's the case in any other genre. Like obviously there are, you know, people of that denomination, specifically Jews in, in most music of music. But I mean like as artists, as DJs, there's so many Israeli people who are in techno and house music and just dance music in general. So if anybody knows why that is the case, definitely let me know in the comments if you do. Um, but anyway, that being said, I understand in the beginning of the conflict, if they felt conflicted about having people on their platform with incredibly pro-Palestinian messaging and slogans and shit on their shirts when their people themselves, right? You know, Israeli people are also suffering in the beginning, in the beginning, in the real beginning. But since the beginning, since that hello day that, you know, there's a lot of Israeli people kind of cling to in terms of the horrible scenes at that music festival that everyone condemns, obviously. But since then, the... The, the, you know it's been kind of lopsided the amount of people who passed away in terms i mean it's not it's not you know there is nothing to relate there there's no correlation there's no balance or anything it's obviously mostly palestinians who are losing their life mostly women and children it's fucking crazy it's mostly civilians also by the way just as a broad term so i understand the beginning feeling conflicted you you got this platform that you own seeing people basically you know essentially taking the piss out of your people um on t-shirts and shit and maybe offending you i get it feeling conflicted but telling them to remove their shirts and shit that's a bit too much we're not gonna we're not gonna upload your video because you wore this shirt you have to take off this scarf it's like what the fuck bro such a terrible public relations pr you know 
bad move really is i don't know what they're doing i really don't know who's managing their pr but they're doing so bad horribly at it and now it's almost like they're trying to what battle or fight this charity here it's like if they don't want your money like they can then decline it and i think actually trying to forcefully send it to them when they've said they don't want it is actually worse to be honest but what do i know to be clear, we never announced a collaboration with the Hill Palestine or fundraiser in their name and our communication. However, we posted myself. Okay, this is the thing though. Again, I don't like this from Hoare. They don't seem to have any accountability or take any ownership. You didn't say it was a collaboration, but you made it seem like it was. You know what you did. Everyone does it. I think everyone that does like charity stuff kind of does it the same way wording wise it depends i guess like whatever you know what the lingo is when you're trying to pu push something they didn't specifically say it was a collaboration but they did make it seem like it was so come on don't take us for fools our intention is to adv advocate for security safety and to help for everyone no it isn't at this moment we chose to help those who are currently experiencing tremendous suffering as we always strive to contribute to what we can you know what's funny they're only doing this now because the death numbers the numbers of deaths on the palestinian side are just so crazy that even the most staunchest zionists nowadays are tr are basically walking back their stances now they're kind of like okay maybe we should be brokering some level of peace or ceasefire because this is getting crazy are we literally trying to exterminate these people because before it was you know tit for tat kind of thing but now it's gone so far that even the most staunch israelis out there are like this is too much so I wonder if Hall would have done this anyway, if it just would have continued being quite, you know, tit for tat kind of thing, for lack of a better term. I don't think so. They're only now starting to reverse course because we're seeing videos of like women and children splayed all over the floor when a, you know, a fucking hospital gets blown up. Or even worse, that footage that we saw of drones, you know, blowing up innocent civilians just walking across the fucking deserts. It's like, what the fuck is going on here? These people don't look threatening. They don't look like they have their bearing arms. They don't look like a fucking militia. That's not Hamas. So because of that, now they're basically feeling a little bit bad, basically, and trying to walk it back. It's like, that's too late now, bro. Regarding the ongoing fundraiser, we have already contacted several humanitarian organizations and work in Palestine to ensure that our contribution will be received. We'll keep everyone updated. Yeah, do that. Do that if you want to. Keep it to yourself. We don't give a fuck. Thank you for ongoing support and for the people who brought complication together. Your contribution and actions are making a change. To those of you who wish to understand our stance further, please read the pinned statement on our page. Yeah. <sighs> But by the way, blessings and Godspeed to the people featured on this list because their comments must be crazy. The people featured on here must be getting absolute pelters. Let's see if I can see it, it, somebody tagged here because I bet you people must be going after them as well. Who's 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 on here? Let's see Adja. Let's see if people are people saying anything crazy to this person called Adja on their Instagram. Have they turned off their comments or something? Let's see because Hora now you know not only fucking up the whole thing but they're also putting other people in bad positions because now people are going to be attacking them making them feel like you know they are complicit in in fucking horse shit so this is a, i think this is a pin post isn't it so i don't think there'll be any comments on there that's a pin post right one hour ago what's that people say on a sunday night okay cool no nope, that's a pinned one that's not the one that's from march Okay, she doesn't have any. She doesn't have any updated things. So no one's really attacking her. I don't think so far. I can see here, she's she's gotten away with it. So big up Ad Adja, Adja's gotten away with it scot free. Good to see, actually. To be honest, that would have been sad if she was getting attacked in the comments for <laughs> lending a tune to a compilation that probably no one's gonna listen to anyway. Um, yeah, no comments on there recently. Let's see one more person on here. Let's go for Tash Safari. Let's see if anyone else said anything to them because this is going to be a wild thing let's see let's see let's see did tasha fari get any comments about lending her name to a compilation oh comments have been limited yes okay something may have happened here comments have been limited maybe something happened <laughs> uh, fucking hell look at who making people's lives hell that have nothing to do with what they're doing fucking hell yeah maybe something's happened maybe it hasn't who knows either way um just a terrible own goals continually it feels like from whore they don't seem to learn their lessons and it just seems to get worse and worse for them going forward let's actually see my guy matrix man let's see if he's got did people give him any powers he'll probably give it back to you to be fair he's, he's not he's not afraid to get into a bit of a tit for tat online and shit anybody else did anybody give him any tells he's got a massive head in it 
My guy made a trick to man. His head is really big for his body. Look at his fucking dome. Look at his dome. Um, let's continue there. Nope. Okay, no no um angry messages from people. My favorite album so far, you're a genius, wickedness. Okay, fair play. Fair play, fair fucking play. So, um I'm eager to see what happens with Hall going forward. Um whether they suffer the same fate that Boiler Room suffered where, you know, reputational damage just seems to be irreparable. But I think Boiler Room have done pretty well in terms of bouncing back. I feel like people don't really give them as much stick as they used to. Maybe it helps that the founder left, that founder that everybody hated at Boiler Room, the guy with the blonde hair, I forgot his name. Um, I think they hated him just because he was rich or something, I think. Or maybe his family are Tories, I don't know. But either way, I think that founder's left now. I think he sold it to Dice, didn't he, Boiler Room? So maybe that might help. Maybe Horn need to sell the platform to Boiler Room or somebody just to kind of distance themselves from the Israeli founders because the same thing happened to E1 I think people are going to boycott E1 until E1 changes ownership hands because you know they know who the founder is they know he went literally to fight in Gaza recently so I think that kind of stink is just impossible to shake off especially when you keep doing these low effort hanging fruit virtue signaling nonsense to try and appease people it just seemed disingenuous people can see through it and it's obviously bullshit it's obviously 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 freaking bullshit 